coming off of just a fantastic and enthralling 4-1 win over Leicester City in match week four. The Liverpool Football Club will be flying high into Stamford Bridge to take on the Chelsea Rent Boys. Now, uh, for those of you who do not know what a Rent Boy is, it is the English slang term for a male prostitute. So, you know, uh, we're talking about a team filled with plastics, but nonetheless, a team that has a lot to celebrate in terms of its recent history. But, uh, you know, they, they have fallen on hard times, as have Liverpool. You know, Liverpool finished 8th last season, Chelsea finished 10th. A lot of people are backing these teams to finish in the top four in the Premier League, in part because neither has to deal with uh, European football. So, with that, uh, Chelsea is going to host uh, the Reds in match week five, coming off of a 2-2 draw against Swansea City. Not the result they were hoping for there. And you know, to be fair, Chelsea is still figuring out their identity under new manager Antonio Conte. Of course, there is no uh, silent mutiny going on like there was last season, where it seemed as if players were deliberately failing to get Jose Mourinho sacked. No such problems now. But looking back at Liverpool here, the Reds uh, enjoyed just a fantastic showing from everyone uh, who played up top, and really from top to bottom the whole way through. You know, uh, Roberto Firmino had those two great goals of his. Sadio Mane, once again, has been absolutely spectacular. So much pace, uh, end product. He brings that killer uh, dimension that Liverpool have never had, really, uh, the, over the past few seasons. So, on top of all that, you know, Daniel Sturridge, in a sense, was kind of an unsung hero. He did not score, but he still made a huge impact on the game with that outrageously nice back heel assist to Mane. And, you know, made a really great run that split the attention of the Leicester City defense to help set up Firmino's opening goal. Now, that being said, I think it is pretty safe to predict that Sturridge will not start this game. You know, uh, Klopp has really established a trend of going with the 4-3-3, playing Firmino in the false nine. And statistically speaking, Firmino has delivered in 14 starts playing in the false nine. Firmino has scored six times and assisted six times. You know, over the course of 14 games, that is a very solid return. So oftentimes when Liverpool go on the road, Klopp wants to establish that high press, that intensity to really get a strong foothold in the game early. And, you know, having Firmino's ability to just run and run nonstop and be such a strong tip of that high press is... Uh, an invaluable asset. You know, uh, in terms of the defense, that is the big question for Liverpool right now. What do they need to, need to do to make things better? Well, part of the equation is to not have Lucas Leva um, playing center back, although to be fair, he did have a solid game following that uh, unbelievable mistake that pretty much gift-wrapped a goal to Jamie Vardy. So now Dijon Lovren's swollen eye has healed up enough for him to see and be able to play on Friday, so expect to see Dijan Lovren partner with Joel Matip, who's enjoyed a pretty impressive start to life at Anfield himself. The two of those lads should pair at center back. Meanwhile, James Milner had his best performance as a le left back yet against Leicester City. You know, even with Alberto Moreno cutting the man bun, dyeing his hair blonde, I don't think he's quite ready to play like Lionel Messi just yet. And, you know, on the other side, at right back, Nathaniel Klein, you know, been very solid as usual. Some people considered him to be the player of the year for last season. He has his starting spot nailed down as tightly as anyone in the side. So, looking at the center of the park, you know, Liverpool are uh, not going to have the services of Emre Chan. it seems like. Uh, he is still working his way back to full fitness, and it is very wise of Jurgen Klopp not to rush him back. He needs to take his time, be fully fit, get more training. I completely understand. You know, uh, Jordan Henderson, after a, a terrible start to the season, had a much better showing against Leicester City. 
you know, was uh, influential in the right ways. Gini Wijnaldum is trying to make his presence more felt out there. He's been kind of a ghost early on, but had a decent game against Leicester City. But, you know, uh, I personally would like to see Marco Gruwich at least make a substitute appearance. I'm pretty sure he has yet to feature in a Premier League game this season, and to see, you know, a big, strong lad like Gruwich who could really influence a game come on in what is going to be a fiery, pacey, intense match against Chelsea would bring a, a refreshing element into the lineup for the Reds. Now, Chelsea, uh, it's important to note that John Terry is out, he is injured, will not be fit to play, and in his place, Conti is going to pick Brazilian international David Luiz to start in his place. Now, some people might believe, and I'm one of them, that this is actually a good thing for Chelsea that Terry is out. You know, David Luiz knows Philippe Coutinho and Firmino very well as Brazilian internationals, and you know that familiarity obviously works both ways. But you know, Luiz has better pace than Terry. And, you know, that familiarity factor could make it tough for the Chelsea defense to be broken down at times. But, you know, we'll obviously see on match day what that presents. But, you know, I'm personally more used to seeing Luiz play as a fullback. Of course, he loves to make those bombarding kamikaze runs down the flank. Do not think he will get that many opportunities to do so when he's playing at the core of the defense. What's going to present the biggest challenge for Liverpool, in my opinion, is the fact that, you know, Chelsea have two very, very talented holding midfielders. In my opinion, the two best holding midfielders in the English Premier League, I would even go as far as to say they are two of the five best in all of world football. Those fellows, of course, are Nemanja Matic and N'Golo Kante. You know, you look at how the magic of Leicester's uh, dream run last season has kind of faded now. The biggest reason has to be because their one departure was N'Golo Kante, who was the backbone of that defense. I've cracked this joke earlier, but it doesn't seem to get old for me at least. N'Golo Kante lost his virginity and won it back. There's really no type of ball out there that Kante is incapable of winning. He is just a phenomenal defender, you know, closes down like nobody's business, and he's going to present a lot of problems for the Liverpool attack. So... I could honestly see him, you know, giving more headaches than anybody else uh, in the Chelsea defense. But what makes Chelsea so dangerous, no matter who they play, any match, anytime, anywhere, is the fact that they have two world-class players who are so good, they can ensure that Chelsea picks up three points, even when they don't deserve it. Those two players, of course, are Diego Costa and Eden Hazard. Hazard, you know, had an absolutely rubbish season last year, but it seems he has fully put that behind him. Of course, he scored that incredible goal where he scored from dribbling pretty much through the half field and drilling it from outside the penalty box. He really has the taste for scoring, for creating brilliant attacks, awesome build-up play. And Diego Costa, you know, well-known, of course, for... Scoring inside the box, being a ruthless poacher finisher, but he has the skills. He has the technical finishing ability to drill the ball on the ground and roll it past the keeper. He can score in just in a variety of ways. Of course, known for his dirty play as well, but at least this time around, he can't eye gouge Martin Skirtle. So this could be a game, certainly, where there could be a lot of yellow cards, if not red. Liverpool and Chelsea tends to get very fiery and uh, intense at times. So I, needless to say, am incredibly excited for this match. For prediction time, I am going to take a shootout here. Seven goals. Give me Liverpool 4-3 over Chelsea. And in a surprise, Origi is going to come off the bench to bag the winner. That's my call. Liverpool 4, Chelsea 3. Make sure you tune in and watch on Friday.